This video will show how to clean up our desktop shortcuts. I like to work from my desktop and I like all my shortcuts available, but I don't like a cluttered desktop. So our resident guru extraordinaire Edwin showed me a way around this and I thought I'd make a video of it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our main C drive. And we're going to create a folder and we'll name it Windows Desktop Shortcuts. And now we're going to open that folder and we're going to take all of our desktop shortcuts and we're going to put them in there. And close the folder. Now we're going to go right click on our taskbar. And unlock it. Right click it again and go to toolbars. And then create new toolbar. Now we're going to go find the folder we just created. And select that. And there we have a new toolbar. The only problem is, I really don't like the label on, on the toolbar. I don't think it should be there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and open that folder and we're going to create a new folder and if we hold down alt and on the new number pad type in 0160 we end up with a folder that doesn't have a name so we're going to open that and then we're going to open our folder again we're going to copy all of our shortcuts into the folder with no name. Okay, then we're going back to our toolbar. Right click it, select toolbars, and we're going to delete the folder we created already. Now we're going to create another folder another toolbar folder. Only this time we're going to select the folder with no name. And now we have a new toolbar with no name on it. And I have access to all my desktop icons that work just fine. but my desktop's clean. And a good part about this is if you want to create another uh, shortcut, I want to do PowerShell. I use PowerShell. So I'm going to right click it and, and open the file location. And I'm going to click, right click PowerShell ISE and select properties because I always like to run it as administrator. And I'm lazy and I don't want to make that extra link. Extra click. You go to shortcut, click to advanced properties, now check the run as administrator box. Click OK and apply. Now every time you open it, it'll run as administrator. Now we're going to right click it and click send to desktop as shortcut. And there's our PowerShell. So let's go open up our folder that we just created a toolbar with. 
Now we're going to take our PowerShell and put it in our toolbar folder. And now there it is. We have PowerShell. And that's it. We still have access to all of our, our shortcuts. Plus we've got a fairly clean desktop. That's it and that's all there is to it.